Good afternoon. As Royal Governor of New Jersey, I greet each and every one of you. As you well know, I have been under house arrest since January, and I fear that further indignities will be placed upon me with the approach of Colonel Hurd and the militia. If you'll excuse me. Sophie. 
sufficient to rouse the indignation of any man not dead to human fear. To you and to every individual in this province, I appeal that you vouch for me. Never have I done anything to harm this colony. From the beginning of the imperial struggle, I have uniformly worked for negotiation and treaty. This has been done from the conviction that America might thereby obtain a fixed constitution that would afford every reasonable security for enjoyment of British liberty. In response to my attempted seizure and removal, I must state that this is a personal affront to me designed to wound the dignity of the crown through my person. Even were the charge of contempt of Congress true, which it most certainly is not, it would not justify such treatment as I have received and am likely yet to suffer. I have not abdicated. I have not appeared in arms against my people or neglected to call a meeting. When I last met with gentlemen of the assembly, they intimated their desire that I should not quit the province, and I flattered myself that by remaining quietly here, I might be of some service when His Majesty's commissioners should arrive. I have never attempted to remove myself as so many of my fellow governors have done, but have remained here to serve you. Surely the insult of house arrest under which I have suffered since January would justify me in leaving this province completely and seeking my comfort elsewhere. That I have not done. Now, I fear such a leave will be forced upon me. I beg your indulgence as I attend to some last minute details. As a resident of this city, I must say that what the governor says is indeed true. Many people from Perthamboy have remained loyal to the king and to his excellency, the royal governor, William Franklin. We, are, we see all too plainly the possibility for ruin and anarchy without the protection of the crown. 